Hello and welcome to this bonus winter solstice episode. I wanted to do this because I, every year, well, I won't say everywhere, every year, this is year two, where I have held a winter solstice event to help women transition into solitude, not solitude in a bad way, but we've spent spring and summer outside doing the things, being available. And this is a time for us to kind of go inward and reflect and prepare for, you know, the holiday season as well as going into the new year. So I just wanted to drop this quick bonus and also leave you with a winter solstice meditation, the meditation that I did at my winter solstice experience and give you something to think about when it comes to this time of year. So for those of you that may not know, winter solstice is usually on December 21st or the 22nd. And basically it's the start of winter. And it marks the shortest day and the longest night. Now throughout history in different cultures, this is considered to be a time to celebrate and it can have a lot of significance with rituals and festivals being held, which is kind of, I guess, my way of going into the winter season of let's create a ritual. Let's make it a very significant time for the women that choose to come and let's make it matter. Let's put the focus on you and let's focus on all the great things that you've done over the year, what you would like to focus on into the new year and not necessarily, again, we talk about those resolutions and things that we make and we knock ourselves down, but you've done great things throughout the year and you should acknowledge it. For you, honoring winter solstice can bring about a sense of grounding and harmony. And by doing, by going inside, by taking time for self-care and pausing and reflecting and nurturing yourself, it allows you to focus on your well-being and recharge yourself emotionally and spiritually, because that may not be something that you've spent a lot of time focusing on throughout the year. Okay, so this is also going to bring you personal growth, resilience, and it's going to build that deeper connection with yourself that I know that's what you want. I know you want to cultivate this relationship with yourself, and this is the perfect time to do that. Not Well, I don't want to say perfect time because there's always a perfect time to connect yourself, but it's just the significance of going in. It's cold outside. You're going to be more inside the fuzzy blankets and all of that. It just gives a different, a different feel I like to think about and explain it. As we look outside, the leaves have fallen, gardens are gone. You know, it's just, you can see that everything has gone dormant and gone inside. And that's not, I don't want you to think of hibernating as I'm going to not be in the world anymore. I'm just going to sleep and everything like that. But there is great benefit to resting and rejuvenating, having time for more sleep, having more downtime to do nothing if you choose and to also spend more time self-care. If you think about it, right? Like during the winter, our skin becomes dry and flaky and it just tends to need more heavier things and more time to take care of it, to get it to where it would get easier if you were just using oils and things of that nature during the spring and the summer. Um, so don't look at this as a time to isolate, right? There's a difference between isolating and going into inward, into solitude. Think of it as being more mindful, mindful living and focusing on activities that enhance that, not just mind, but also your body and your spirit. So doing things like meditating and reading, spending time with your family is going to increase that sense of well-being and balance you out during the winter season. Not only is this helpful for you to know, but it's also helpful for you to recognize that some people 
do start powering down around this time and their energy levels are a little bit different. So you may be expecting people to show up for you in a certain type of way that they just can't during this time of year, whether it's because they're dealing with sad, which I did an episode on that seasonal affective disorder, or this is just the time where they are a little bit more withdrawn and to themselves. And that's okay, right? Because there's, there's no one size fits all approach to how we go into the winter seasons, but it's nice to recognize that it doesn't necessarily have anything to do with you if you notice that your support system or your family or even like your partner and your children start to pull back a little bit more during the season. So with that being said, I would love to take you into the winter solstice meditation. The I don't have any music in the background because for some reason things don't do right when you try to play it. However, Playing a Solfagio frequency 528 hertz, that is going to be beneficial for this meditation if you want to play it on your end. Um, They have playlists on Spotify. You can play it on YouTube. But the 528 hertz is considered the love frequency. And it's thought to promote healing, inner peace, and DNA repair. So this 528 hertz will resonate with the heart chakra fostering a sense of love, compassion, and harmony. So this frequency, using this frequency during this meditation is going to bring about a calming and rejuvenating experience. And it aligns perfectly with reflection and renewal and positive energy associated with the winter solstice. So go ahead and pause this video, get comfortable, go ahead and cut on your frequency if you'd like, or whatever playlist you would like. And I'll be back. Okay, welcome back. I actually did decide that I'm going to drop a 528 Hertz playlist that I like off of Spotify in the show notes. So if you want to click on that and cut that on while we're doing this, that's great. But we are going to go ahead and we're going to get settled and we're going to get started. Begin by finding a quiet and comfortable space where you won't be disturbed. Sit or lie down in a relaxed position. Take a few deep breaths to center yourself and let go of any tension. Feel the weight of your body sinking into the support beneath you. Allow your mind to settle, preparing for a peaceful journey within. As you settle into your space, become aware of the present moment. Feel the stillness around you. Sense the quiet energy of winter. Let go of any thoughts or concerns from your day. Imagine the world outside your space wrapped in the tranquil embrace of winter. Let this calmness fill your being. Bring your attention to your breath. Inhale deeply through your nose, allowing the breath to fill your lungs. Feel your chest and abdomen expand. Exhale slowly through your mouth, releasing any tension. Continue to breathe deeply and rhythmically. With each breath, 
Imagine you are inhaling the crisp, fresh air of winter and exhaling any stress or worries. Picture yourself in a serene winter landscape. Envision a snow-covered forest with tall, majestic trees. The air is so crisp, and a soft blanket of snow covers the ground. Visualize the winter solstice sun low in the sky, casting a gentle golden glow over the landscape. Take a moment to appreciate the beauty and stillness of this scene. Reflect on the past year and acknowledge the changes and growth you've experienced. Now set intentions for the coming season. What do you wish to invite into your life? What aspects of yourself do you want to nurture and cultivate? Visualize these intentions as seeds planted in the fertile soil of your consciousness, ready to sprout and bloom in the days to come. Imagine a symbolic ritual that represents letting go of the old and welcoming the new. This could be releasing a metaphorical burden or embracing a positive change. Visualize the energy shifting as you release the past and open yourself to the possibilities of the future. Engage in this ritual mentally, feeling the transformative power it holds. Visualize a warm, radiant light at the center of your being. This light represents your inner strength, wisdom, and resilience. With each breath, allow this light to expand, filling your entire body with a comforting and empowering glow. Feel the warmth spreading to every corner of your being, eliminating any shadows and bringing a sense of peace. Take a moment to express gratitude for the lessons and experiences of the past year. Consider the people, opportunities, and challenges that have contributed to your growth. Feel a sense of appreciation for the journey. Acknowledge the support and connections that have enriched your life. As you start to bring your awareness back to the present moment, take a few deep breaths. Once 
wiggle your fingers and toes, gently awakening your body. When you're ready, open your eyes. Carry the energy and intentions of this meditation with you into the rest of your day, knowing that you can return to this space of peace and reflection whenever you need. As we conclude this winter solstice meditation and you bask in the soothing waves of the sounds around you, I leave you with a gentle reminder, renewal. May the energy of this solstice bring you a profound sense of renewal, allowing you to release what no longer serves you and embrace the limitless possibilities of the coming season. Take your time to fully absorb the harmonious vibrations surrounding you. Allow the echoes of the world around you and the energy of renewal to resonate within. Take this moment for yourself. You are invited to stay on your mat for as long as you need, honoring the stillness and the potential for growth that the winter solstice brings. When you're ready, gently transition back into the world outside, carrying the tranquility of this experience with you. Thank you for joining us on this journey of reflection, intention, and renewal. May the winter solstice illuminate your path with inner peace and endless possibilities. I love you.